Hi, I'm Buddy Broom, attorney and real estate investor in Southern California, and I teach a personal finance class entitled Calculate Your Way to Financial Freedom. On today's video, we have Tom who has a credit card and wants to know how long it'll take to pay off his credit card debt. Now let's get started. Hello and welcome. In this situation, we have Tom. Tom has a credit card debt and he wants to know how long it'll take him to pay off the credit card debt. In this situation, Tom has a credit card debt of $12,000 and he has an interest rate on that credit card of 20%. And the monthly payments that he's going to be making on him are $400 per month. And he wants to know how long it'll take till the credit card is paid in full. So you'll see in front of us right here, we have, uh, we have some writing on this piece of paper. Right here, this box and this line are a cash flow diagram. And up here are the calculator table. Cash flow diagram shows how money flows, shows how money comes in and out of life, how it's getting paid to make it easier to conceptualize rather than just being a bunch of numbers. And then above this calculator table, once we get the information from the cash flow diagram, we take that to the calculator table. Then uh, we have to know four of these boxes up here. And once we know them, we take the information from the calculator table, enter it in the calculator, and this, the calculator will solve the uh, question for us. Here we are using a Hewlett Packard 10BII financial calculator, and let's get started. So in this situation, Tom has a credit card debt of $12,000. He wants to know how long it'll take him to pay it off. So what we'll start is we know that he's got a debt of $12,000, and so we show an up arrow. Put twelve thousand dollars next to it. That up arrow represents Tom receiving money, even though it's a debt. Um, and people would say, "Oh, it should be a down arrow because it's a negative against Tom." Tom has already received the benefit of that twelve thousand dollars. Whatever he spent it on, he was able to use because he got that debt. So as a result, in terms of the cash flow diagram in the calculator, we look at that as being a positive. It's a twelve thousand dollars that Tom has received that he's looking to pay off. We also know that the um, that Tom is able to make monthly payments of $400 per month. So the way that we show that on the table is we show a number of these little down arrows. And we put 400 right next to them and we'll put a negative. Those down arrows all represent money leaving Tom's pocket. So Tom is paying $400 per month until this $12,000 debt is paid off. And then we show that everything being paid off at the end, because this, ca this uh, line shows time running from present to future. And this, uh, we know that at the end, Tom wants his credit card to be completely paid off. So we put a zero there showing everything being paid off. And now, uh, in order to show time on this, I'm going to put a bracket here. We don't know exactly how long it's going to be to pay this off. So we'll put a question mark here because we just don't know what that time frame will be. And finally, up here in this box, we put the interest rate for the debt. We know that the credit card has an interest rate of 20%. We put that up here, 20%. Okay. So then once we have the information on here, we then enter it up here into the calculator table. Now, calculator table left to right, we have first is N which represents number of months. We don't know what that is in this situation. IYR is interest rate. So we know it's 20. 20% 20 is the interest rate per year. So we're just going to put 20. Also here, since we don't know what the uh, time frame will be, we'll put a question mark. PV is a present value. That's a one-time value that happens today and happens today only. In this situation, since he has the debt today of $12,000, it's positive, he's already got it. We're gonna put 12,000 right here. Now, PMT, those are monthly payments. How, um, uh, how many monthly payments that Tom is making every month? In this situation, we know that he's making $400 monthly payments until it's paid off. So we're gonna put, and since that money is leaving his pocket, put a negative and a 400. Then finally, a future value. That's the one-time event that happens. We see FV stands for future value. That's the one-time event that happens sometime out in the future. And we know that Tom's goal here is to pay off the debt completely. So we have that zero here showing it's paid off. 
So that's what the future value will be. It'll be zero. Now that we know these four, we solve for the fifth. So now we have a, the financial calculator, the Hewlett Packard uh, 10BII financial calculator. And you'll notice N corresponds to N, IYR here. Present value is the same up here, PMT and FV. All these buttons up top correspond to the calculator table. And all we have to do now is enter the information from the calculator table into the calculator and let the calculator do the work. So now we'll go left to right and we don't know. It's, uh, we're trying to figure out how long it'll take Tom to pay off this credit card. So we're gonna leave that blank. We're gonna skip it for now. IYR, interest rate is 20. So we put as 20 here, interest rate. PV is a present value. That's a one-time event, like I said, that happens today and today only. And it's a positive right now. Tom owes $12,000, so put $12,000, and we're just gonna hit PV, and now it's entered in the present value. PMT are payments, that's the monthly payments. Here we know it's 400 negative because Tom is making monthly payments of $400 to pay off this debt. So put 400, and then to get negative on the calculator, we hit this plus minus toggle right here. Payments right there, and then future value, we know that Tom wants to have the debt completely paid off, so he's just gonna enter zero, and then hit future value. Now it's entered in there. Now that we know those four, all we simply have to do is hit N to solve for the fifth, and it comes out to 41.93 months, or just about uh, three and a half years um, for Tom to pay off this debt. So that means if Tom has a credit card with a balance of $12,000, and an interest of 20%, and he makes monthly payments of $400, it'll take him just over uh, 41 months to uh, completely pay off this debt. 41.93 are just about three and a half years. So that is it. If you have any questions or would like to find out about future classes I'm teaching or would like to contact me, please visit my website, www.buddybroom.com. Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.